World's Fair 1893 is a two to four player set collection area control card game by Foxtrot Games. Win the game by having the highest score at the end of three scoring phases. Begin by placing down the Ferris wheel and then randomly arranging the five location tiles around it. Place the Ferris wheel car on the bottom spot of the wheel. For two players, black out the top two spots with the unused color cube. Shuffle the cards and place them on the Ferris wheel face down and draw two cards per location. For a two player game, remove one of the following types of cards, one midway card and one of each exhibit. The cards available in the game are the midway cards. These move the score tracker, the ferris wheel, up by one. Influential people. I'll describe their use later, but these are the symbols associated with these cards. And exhibits. These are proposals for the fair. Approval I'll explain later. Set aside the scoring tokens and the coins. Choose your color and collect the 22 cubes associated with it. Don't forget to place down a supporter right now on any location before the game starts. You will then hand out the turn order cards and perform the action scene on the back. Now that we have started the game, on your turn you'll place one of your supporters on one of the five locations. Possibly after your first turn and following until the end of the game, you may be picking up influential cards. You'll follow your next action with using these cards. Use this reference to see what these cards do. Again, after you've placed a supporter on one of the five locations, your next action is to use the influential cards if you have any. Once you've used your influential cards, or if you do not have any, immediately collecting all the cards associated with that location that you put your supporter on. Go ahead and move the ferris wheel one spot per midway card picked up. Otherwise, move on to the next action, which includes you placing three new cards around the board. Place one card on the location you supported. Then clockwise, lay the following cards one at a time. If the location can't hold any cards because of location limits, move to the following one. Once you've done that, your turn is over and the next player starts their turn. Scoring. Remember, you begin the scoring phase when the ferris wheel has made it around the board. Each scoring phase offers a leader bonus. The player of this phase that has the most midway tickets collects two coins. Ties conclude in all tied players collecting two points. You can redeem tickets. Everyone redeems their midway tickets for one point, which concludes in you discarding them. I have mentioned approval earlier. You have been collecting exhibit cards throughout the rounds. Once scoring starts, score all locations individually. Starting at the bottom of the ferris wheel and heading clockwise, the player with the most supporters in that location approves their correlating exhibit card. Discard your matching exhibit cards and replace that pile with one exhibit approval of that color per pending exhibit. Here's an example. I was leading in fine arts with two red over one white, so I will turn in my two exhibits that are pending and receive two approved exhibits. Unapproved cards do not get discarded. Use the scoring phase cards as a reference for player count. You have the first and second player medal rewards for the highest support and approving exhibit slots available. You also should note the difference between first and second and first and second ties. Once done with the scoring phase, reduce your support by half rounding down in your favor. Three supporters goes to two, six supporters go to three, and five supporters go to three. If you have one, go ahead and leave it. Begin the phase with the player it did not reach yet. Example, if player two grabbed the midway card that started the scoring phase, start the next round with player three. Once you've reached your third scoring phase, total your reputation. Sum up your midway coins, leader medals, and approved exhibits. Uniquely approved exhibits work in sets. One approved exhibit equals one point. Three approved equals six points. Five approved equals 15 points. Remember, if you have two of the same approval, they count as two separate scores. More points win. Ties are broken with fewest number of unapproved main exhibit cards.